What is going on people? Anthony Williams coming at you with another video. Today I want to take the time, I want to take the, the time to just thank you for being here and viewing this video. I know if you're viewing this video, something brought you here outside of yourself. And I know that you're going to pick up the vibration, you're going to pick up the energy from this video to be able to help you move along in your life. So I just want to thank you and I want to welcome you to this video, okay? If you didn't catch it, my name is Anthony Williams and today I have a very important subject that I want to get out, okay? It's the point of listening. Do you know how to listen? You know, if, if you ask anybody that question, listen. Most everybody will say, yeah, I know how to listen. What are you talking about? Yeah, of course, I hear you, you know? And, you know, when you hear that, <laughs> nine times out of ten, they don't know how to listen. Listening is a skill that you have to develop, okay? It's not automatically given to you because you have ears, okay? Let me say that again. Listening is a skill that you develop. It's not something that automatically happens because you have ears, Okay, so let's get that out and let's get that to the forefront right now because everybody would think that they know how to listen, but they're not practicing the skills of learning how to listen. So let me go a little bit deeper here and get into exactly what I'm talking about and why is it so important in business and in life for you to be able to develop the skill of listening. Okay, now most people, okay, um, I just have an illustration here. Most people though, um, if you ever seen the movie um, Karate Kid, Okay, the first one, not, not the new one, but the first one. Um, you had a point in the time in the movie to where you had Mr. Miyagi teaching Daniel's son, and right in, right in the beginning of the movie, teaching Daniel's son how to actually um, learn Kung Fu, right? So you have Mr. Miyagi teaching Daniel's son, and you have Mr. Miyagi saying, okay, go wax the car, right? And Daniel's son gets on the car and goes, wax on. Wax off, wax on, wax off. Day after day, day after day, day after day, he keeps going back. And, you know, Mr. Miyagi told him to do the same thing. Go wax the car, wax on, wax off, okay? And then Daniel's son gets tired of it, and he says, you know, I'm not learning anything. He goes, Mr. Miyagi, I'm not learning anything. Why do you have me waxing this car and all, all this other stuff? But the point that Mr. Miyagi, and then you'll see later on in the movie where Mr. Miyagi explained to him that karate is more than just you know, learning the moves or learning the skills to be able to, you know, defend yourself because that was Daniel's, uh, Daniel's son's whole problem in the movie because, you know, he wanted to be able to defend himself against people that was attacking him. So Mr. Miyagi started him at the basics, the ABCs. But that draws a point, okay, that I want to get out here. Listening involves, and I said it before, listening involves more than just listening with your ears because you have ears thinking that you're able to listen. But getting over to what listening actually is, listening involves your whole body, okay? It's more than just, you know, um, uh, having ears and just hearing somebody talk, but to be able to listen psychologically. And what do I mean by listening psychologically, okay? Taking a piece of information that is put out there and transforming it to your own life experience to where you can get the value from that information. Okay? That's listening psychologically. And it involves more than just, you know, um, just hearing words. It actually involves you actually getting to a point where you're listening to somebody, and first you're calm and you're attentive to that person. No distractions around, just focused on that one person, and you're attentive, and you're actually listening, and you're actually involved with your, your body. You're involved with your emotions, you're involved with everything that's going on around you and all your energy, all your attention is focused on that one person. Okay, that's the point of listening psychologically. It's more than just listening uh, with your ears, it's listening with your whole body. And that's the point of the movie that I wanted to transfer over to listening as being a skill and learning the skills. As opposed to somebody who said, you know, I have ears and you know, I'm listening, I hear you. But, you know, they're not listening and being in the present moment and being aware of the present moment and bringing their whole entire being to the moment to be able to, you know, um, listen and to actually draw from the information that's vitally important for them in their lives, okay? So, what are some of the skills that we can develop and 
you know, move forward with this skill of listening or develop this skill of listening. Okay? The first skill is, is that you have to learn to be present. Within the present moment, you have to learn to be present and attentive. Okay? And any information that you take in, okay, you should be writing notes, you know, because you know, half of what we hear we forget. Okay? So if you're taking notes, you can go back later and go back over what you actually heard. Okay? So taking notes is one of the key things as far as becoming a better listener. And the second point in awareness, of course, like I just mentioned, but awareness, having awareness in the present moment and how the words are affecting you and how the words are either transforming you or they're irrelevant for you. Okay? But you have to be in the present moment to be able to know that. Okay? So those are some of the skills that we can develop in order to become a better listener. Um, another skill that we can develop is you know, um, not being distracted. Like I said before, not being distracted. Focusing on one thing. If you're listening to somebody, let's just say you're going over some training in a video and you're distracted. You have your cell phone going on, everybody's here, everybody's there, and you don't have the capacity to be able to focus in on the words or the training that is coming out of the person's mouth that's vital, vital to you, not only your business, but maybe vital to your life. So definitely cutting distractions away from when you're in the art of listening. And you have to develop it. Because just because you have ears doesn't mean that you're psychologically listening. Another, another key factor that I want to get out here is that um, I'm not going to say clear your mind, but <laughs> most people aren't able to do that. But being in the present moment and not judging what the person is saying within the present moment, but just taking in the information and then judge afterwards and see what's applicable to your life and things that you don't understand. Because most people, the thing about it is that they'll spend time listening to somebody. As soon as somebody says something that they don't agree with, it automatically puts, puts up a block or a road in their own minds to where they won't get that information to be able to transform their lives. So being able to be in the present moment and be receptive to the person who's given the information and not coming with preconceived notions of what this is or what that is. If this person, anyway, if you're, if you're scanning information and you're getting the value from the information, okay, you're scanning the information and you're saying to yourself, okay, how is this applicable to my life? And, you know, you evaluate the person. You know, what is this person contact? What is the value that they're bringing in my life? You know, where are they at in their life? And if they have a certain result, then we need to be open if we want the same result that that person has. Okay, I hope that makes sense for you. And I hope that you, you know, go out and actually look at that when you're actually developing this skill called listening. Okay, and the last piece of this is developing the skill of listening so that you can be more effective in your business relationship and in all of your relationships. Not just your business relationship, but you know, all relationships. If you're married or have a significant other, um, also those relationships. And the best way that we can do that is, is just as I just explained all the way up to this point. Because listening, um, to be an effective listener, you know, you have to have those components. You have to be able to cut out distractions. You have to be able to focus and be in the present moment. And you have to be able to, you know, focus in and, you know, get the value out of what that person is saying so that it can, uh, you know, better your life or, um, or basically you can become a better communicator from just the fact of listening, okay? Now, as I just said, and if you caught it, listening actually helps you become a better communicator because you not only um, interpret the words that are coming out of an individual's mouth correctly, but what you do is, is that you actually are in the present moment and you can evaluate psychologically how it applies to you, and to your business or to your life, and you can be that much more of a better communicator and be able to get directly to, because people, the thing about people are, is that sometimes what they do is they talk around what they mean, as opposed to going directly straight as opposed to what they mean, okay, and that and, and that just comes from not being not not being a good communicator, okay. Now being a good communicator, it cuts all that stuff out because you hear you know the second of a round of an issue, and you can listen in intently and being stuck in the present moment. Even though that person is saying words and you're paying attention to that person, you can actually get more out of not only just the words but from their actual body language, from their facial expressions, how they're feeling. And you can analyze their whole makeup because the body gives all signals too that you have to be able to listen to. Just like going back to the movie, Mr. Mobby, wax on, 
wax on. You got to learn the ABCs first, you know, before you can become an effective listener. So this is what I want you to do today, okay? I want you to take time today to listen. Just listen. Not talk, but listen. Just take the time to listen today. And then after you listen and hear the information that you hear today, and if you wrote, you know, you should be writing now stuff, because like I said, the mind, very tricky thing, and, and you have everything going on, you'll forget what you hear. So take the time to listen. You know, it may be your child, it may be your husband, it may be your wife, it, it may be anybody. So take time to just listen. And try not to be stuck from the information that they're saying, but to be stuck in the present moment. Okay? Try to be in the present moment um, with the intention and with the purpose to be able to get exactly what that person is saying verbally and non-verbally. Okay, so spend some time doing that today, and if you are looking for a business to transform your, your business, not only your business life, but your life, period, okay, I want you to click the link below and watch the video on the next page, and we'll talk soon.